There you go. See, the engine's cut off. And then the parachute should pop. Any second now. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I don't have a parachute, do I? Nope. Hey! Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today I've got something very, 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 very interesting to show you guys. And that is all of these guys right here. These are all Blackburn Buccaneers. This one that I'm sat in right now is Bolt's Blackburn Buccaneer. And uh, we're going to be testing it out. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here's Bolt's Blackburn Buccaneer right here. I don't know why I said Blackburn Buccaneer like that, but I did. So, up there we've got the engine cut off. We need to turn that on, which is really odd. I don't see that being a thing, but there you go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn on the engine starters like so, and we'll throttle up slightly. All right, okay, we're going to also turn on the instrument lights, which are apparently red. That's kind of cool. Um, we do need to know the buttons, but that's fine. Uh, if I turn that off and then I do this... No, see? Is it going to work? Maybe I have to turn this all the way to full? Um, yeah, oh, there we go. Now it's working. All right, oh, we're going. We're going. Okay, we're going. Go ahead and close the canopy. There we go. So, in case you guys don't know, you... Oh, I've, I've tail striked again. I keep tail striking with this plane. I'm not very good at flying it. I'm sorry. Uh, right, okay. But let's go over all of the features on it. So, we've got retractable landing gear. If I go ahead and press 2, there's our retractable landing gear. They go in pretty well. All right, cool. If we go ahead and bring them back out, we do have landing lights as well which are flashy and on the landing gear themselves. So that's pretty cool. All right, cool. If we go ahead and press three again, we'll turn those off and we'll go ahead and close them in. Beautiful. If I press four, apparently we got foldy wings, which we can fly with. Yeah, we can fly with foldy wings. That's really strange, but there you go. Go ahead and close them back down. Beautiful. And five is air brakes. Now they should be on the back, which indeed they are. That's actually pretty awesome. I like that. Those air brakes on this plane are actually really cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn around. In fact, actually, we should probably land them on the creative island because there is a runway over there. So let's go over there. Uh, and then 506 oh, is uh, the canopy, obviously. So, yeah, that's a thing. All right, cool. What we want to do is we're going to press 2 and 3 for our little landing lights. And we're going to go in for our landing. Here we go. I don't think this is going to go too well. Uh, also, as you guys can see, we've got missiles on the, on the end of our wings. I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to use those. Uh, there is buttons back here. Which we can press. I don't know whether that dropped them. It did. All right, cool. I, I, we kind of need two people for this. Uh, and I am not two people. So, yeah, there you go. This is definitely how you land the plane, by the way. All right, landing, landing, landing. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. We landed the plane. That's awesome. Man, we did actually end up landing the plane. That is crazy. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to be leaving this here for now because uh, this one's done with. It is awesome, though. We do have the right round dills on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's obviously got two jet engines, which is awesome. And it's got missiles or bombs. It's got bombs on the wings, uh, which is pretty cool. The air inlets, they look really cool as well. I'm not entirely sure where the actual air inlet is. Uh, it must be in there somewhere. Um, and the landing gear, really cool too. The front one goes in. The back ones go in. The wings fold. It's awesome. Really cool plane. All right, we got our second plane by D-Wolf SK. We're going to go ahead and jump inside of this thingamabobby. And uh, we're going to try and take off. So... We got a lot of stuff on the inside of this thing. No, it tells you what it is. That's okay. We got a key button right there. Let's go ahead and press that. There we go. Key button right here as well. We've probably got a throttle in the middle. We do. We got a throttle in the middle that goes all the way up to 170. All right, cool. And I guess that'll allow us to take off, presumably. I don't know. Do I have to press any buttons? I might have to press some buttons. I'm not entirely sure. Hold on. Let's go ahead and press one. Oh, no. That's landing gear. Two, three, four, five. All right. I don't know how to take off. Here we go. Nope. It's not happening. It's not happening, boys. Hold on. Is there anything back here that I have to press? I don't think there is. All right. I don't know how to take off. Maybe we pull it backwards instead. Nope. That's not a good idea either. All right. I need some training on this plane. I don't know how to use it. I don't believe it's got any description on it. So uh, we're just going to have to jump in and try our best to make it fly. I, I, yeah. I don't see any, any writing anywhere. So uh, we're just going to have to go for it. Let's go ahead and hold uh, upwards. Up, up the up button a little bit. That doesn't appear to do anything. Let's hold W a little bit. That does the... Oh, the yeah, that does that on the back. Okay, do these do something? They do something as well. We just can't go forwards. Now, I don't understand why. Maybe it doesn't have fuel? I have no idea. Let's go ahead and take this thing inside, and we'll do some diagnostic... Oh, my. All right, okay. What do these start? What do these start up? Hold on. Man, I don't want to do any diagnostics. I, I think it should just work. If it doesn't just work... Then I've got to cry for a little bit. But throttle lever input, what's this? That's the artificial horizon. 
Oh, uh, we got buttons. Wait, we got buttons on the side? Oh, yeah, that's... That, that, yeah, okay, we do have buttons on the side. Uh, and then the key control controls something back there. All right, I'm very... Actually, kind of very confused as to why this isn't working. But it's definitely not working. It is most definitely not working. The throttle goes up there. Then the throttle goes into... Oh, jeez. Throttle goes into here, which is a PID. Okay, I don't know how this one works. Let's go ahead and spawn it in again. Uh, and I'll show you guys what happens. So we go ahead and open up the door. Then we go ahead and we jump in. Okay. Then we go ahead and we do this. And this. There we go. And we should be able to go forwards. Presumably. No? I'm confused. See, the throttle's going up. Yeah, it's not, not working, though. Not working. All right, cool. Well, um... Let's try it one more time. Nope, I don't think it works. This one doesn't seem to work. Well, pepperoni and pepperoni. Alrighty, here's our third one by Oliver. We're going to go ahead and jump inside of this. And it's going to be beautiful, hopefully. We've got a throttle lever in the middle. We've obviously got the gear right there. And I guess if we do this and we press one. No, wait. No, wait, that's not working either. Press this. There we go. And uh, we're going to go for it. Here we go. Oh, wow. Look at the landing gear. The, the doors. That's crazy. Uh, but we should be able to take off straight out of this hangar. Which in- oh, I back- I tail striked again. I tail striked again. I kind of feel like the back end of this thing is maybe a little bit too long. But other than that, this thing looks really good. It does actually look really nice. Uh, let's go ahead and jump back inside. Alright, cool. Go ahead and close the canopy. We do have a back seat, uh, back there, which is the Bombardier. The Bombays. Hold on. What? I- I can't see- it doesn't seem to do anything. Alright, cool. Jump back in the front, do this. Go ahead and do this. Beautiful. I don't want to tail strike this time, so we'll try not to tail strike, and we'll be good. If I press 5, what happens? Oh, we got foldy wings on this one as well. Beautiful. All right, we're in the air. Nice. All right, cool. Gear is coming up. Its gear is not seem seemingly not coming up. Also, we are on fire. Okay, I knew this was going to happen at some point, but that's okay. Um, Our gear is not coming up. What do I have to press for gear? Four. Oh, now it is. There we go. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's really cool, actually. I like that. Uh, our engines are on fire, though, so that's a little bit of a shame. However, we are going to have to go in for a landing just in case. And when I say just in case, I don't want to die. All right, cool. Put the landing gear back down, please. Please, 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 please. Yeah, landing gear's coming back down. That's awesome. Go ahead and turn it. Turn it, turn it. We're going to have to do, like, a really strong pitch up to slow us down. And hopefully it works. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Landed. Oh, yeah, landed. Beautiful. We can still do this as well. Oh, wait, we can't. I was going to try and put the, the wings up, but it's not working. It is not working at all. Uh, so, Ripperoni and Pepperoni. We've managed to destroy, what, three of these things now? The first, Well, the second one didn't take off. That, that's fair. Uh, but the first one we destroyed as well. Uh, but this one has a refueling hose on as well. That's cool. That's cool. The Bombay didn't seem to work, though, which is a little bit strange. Let's go ahead and spawn it in again, and we'll try and use the Bombay this time. Uh, and also, we need to go back to Bolts just to check if it has a Bombay. If it doesn't, that's okay. All right, here we go. We're going to go to like 100 so we don't blow up this time. Close the canopy. That's all good. And here we go. We should take off fine. Yep, okay. Gear. Go ahead and bring the gear up. Beautiful. And then we need to jump seats. We need to jump into the back seat. If I can. There we go. Back seat. All right, cool. Press 1. Press, w press 1. It's not opening the Bombay. Whatever it's doing, it's not opening the Bombay. Yeah, so I don't know what to do here. We're upside down now. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah. I can't open up the Bombay. I don't know how it works. So, there you go. I'm pressing 1. It's not doing anything. So, there you go. Alright, cool. Can I jump back in the front, please? I want to get in the pilot seat. There we go. We're going to go in for another landing. And also, I want to fold the wings while we're flying and see if it can still fly. Which, indeed, it might even fly better. Which is incredible. Uh, but there you go. We're flying. Yeah, it does. It flies really nicely with its wings up. That is crazy. All right, press four. There we go. We're deploying these. Awesome sauce. I think I might have opened the canopy. I have. There we go. Beautiful. And we're going to try and go in for a landing. So throttle down all the way, please. And throttle up. And throttle down. And... Landed! Yeah! Beautiful. And also rolled over, but that's okay. If I press five again... Beautiful! Yeah, that's awesome. Really cool. All right, here's our fourth one right here. This is another Blackburn Buccaneer. This one actually comes with a parachute, so uh, we might be able to escape out of this one. That's good. All right, cool. We've got ladders onto the wings, as you guys can see right here. We've got good old 
Yep, that's cool. All right, cool. We can obviously go ahead and jump. Oh, what? Look at that. That's actually really cool. That is a really nice. Uh, that is a really nice idea. That is a really nice idea. I like that. That's beautiful. Uh, but what have we got in there? I need to have a little look. We got the bomber seat. We got Bombay doors. If I go ahead and open up those. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. We've actually got Bombay's on this one. That's awesome sauce. I guess that's a bomb dropping me mechanism right there. All right, cool. I want to jump in the front seat. Here we go. So we got jet engines. We got canopy. We got lights. We've got brakes. We need to turn those off. We'll turn the lights on. We'll open up. No, we'll close the canopy. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Turn on the jet engines. Go ahead and go full throttle. That's okay. Electric circuit breaker is already on. And we are... Oh, Jesus. Are we good? We're good. We're in the air. All right, awesome. Two is gear. There we go. One is brakes. Three is lights. All right, that's all of the instructions. That's awesome. There we go. We're flying. As for how well this one flies, I kind of feel like it flies a little bit nicer than a lot of the other ones. Um, yeah, I feel like that's right. But I kind of feel like it looks a little bit less like a buccaneer than the rest of them as well. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. We're going to go with that. Um, flight characteristics, it's okay. It's awesome. It does actually roll really fast. It pitches all right. And, um, yeah, it's quite nice. The engines, they are circular. They look pretty cool. And the cockpit looks awesome too. It looks really cool too. All right, okay. So, as for landings, and as for the landing gear, I don't really like the way the landing gear is positioned. But that's okay. If I go ahead and press 2, it does fold out, which is awesome. And, um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of looking to my right to slow down. Gonna be honest. But, oh, jeez, I'm upside down. But it's, it's, it's what we got. So, uh, there you go. Uh-oh. Woo! That was close. That was really... Uh oh No, 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 no! It's really quick at sort of getting its speed back. It's incredible. All right, we're going to go in for a landing again. But this time on this runway in front of us. We're going so fast as well. Is that our fuel consumption? No, that's our altitude. I see. All right, we cut the throttle. We cut the throttle. We're going in. This is our landing. Here it goes. Here it go Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. All right, awesome. I do want to drop the bomb, though. So let's go back in the air. Here we go. Oh, instant. That is crazy. All right. Lift up the landing gear. There we go. Awesome sauce. Jump in the back seat. There we go. Open up the bomb bay doors. Oh, look at it. It's a really big bomb. And drop the bomb. I don't think it dropped. Has it worked? I don't think it's working. It's not dropping. Oh, you have to pull up to drop the bomb. That's fine, though. That's actually really cool. I like it. Awesome sauce. That is really awesome. Can we fly underneath this bridge? I don't know why this is a thing that I want to do. But it is. I want to fly underneath the bridge. I'm going a million miles an hour. Like how fast we're going right now. Nope. Nope. Uh-oh. I went over the bridge. I'm on fire. We need to land again. We got an emergency. We're going in for a landing. We're going in for a landing. Way Yep. There we go. Brakes. Hopefully they're on. Oof. Oof. Turn it. No. Nope. I think we're dead. I think we're dead. I might have broke the seat. I have. Jump. Quick. Parachute. Yes. I survived. No way! Lucky we had a parachute, right? Lucky, lucky me. Alrighty, here's another one. We're gonna go ahead and jump inside. This one, I believe, was built by Woods People. We have an artificial uh, intake right there, which is actually pretty good. Uh, we got small connectors. That's really weird. Uh, we got small connectors on the inside of there, just in case we need to pull them along. That's fine. We got a throttle right there. We got the... Okay. Alright, cool. Uh, we're all good to go. I think we're all good to go. Alright, brakes is one. Gear is two. Folding wings is three. I want to see what they look like. Oh, beautiful. Also, it floats the nose, too. Oh, they actually fold more than 90 degrees. That's awesome. The nose folds awesome as, awesomely as well. Beautiful. We got an arresting hook on the back. Double tap for eject. Wait, hold on. I need to check that in the air. I don't want to try that on the ground. Uh, five is drop bombs. Okay. And six is canopy. So we need to close the canopy with six. There we go. Beautiful. And we need to get going. Now, how do I move? How do I move? I don't know how to move. Yeah. Uh. 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 Oh. Okay. It just starts up with, uh. Yeah, all right. Cool. I thought we might need to press a button, but we don't need to press a button. We can just go. Beautiful. Woohoo! We're in the air. As for how this one looks, it looks insane. It does look awesome. And, um, yeah, I like it. I really, 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 really like it. I don't know what about those intake or the um, the exhausts on this thing. I don't know about those. I it's just the the, the blue, the blue gets me. It's, it kind of feels like a spaceship at that point. Uh, but there you go. All right, press two. The landing gear should fold in. Beautiful. It does. That's awesome. I kind of feel like that one thing on the wing 
is really annoying me right now. I need to drop them. Drop all the bombs. Oh, we've even got a bomb bay that opens too. Oh, that's cool. That is, that's a lot of bombs to drop out of this thing as well. Oh, that, them two are stuck. They might be breaking me right now. I think they might be breaking me. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm so close to the water. Are they stuck? They must be, right? They are. They are definitely stuck. I can't get them out. All right, cool. Close the bomb base. Close the bomb base. That's fine. We got two of them stuck to us, but that, it flies much nicer without that one on the wing. Just saying. All right, cool. That's good. Uh, we got one more to let, get rid of. There we go. All of our bombs are gone. Beautiful. Let's see what it flies like with folded wings. Um... It actually flies A-OK, -okay, which is very strange, but there you go. We've also got the folded nose, which is also very strange, uh, but that's okay. All right, cool. We need to have a little look at the arresting hook now. So if I press 4, we got the arresting hook. If I press 4 again... No way. Ah, the canopy falls off, and we fall out with our parachute. That is awesome. That is actually really, 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 really cool. I never expected anyone to go this much into detail. Uh, but that is, that is actually really cool. Nice. Alright, so since we do have an arresting hook, let's go ahead and try and land this thing on the floor. So, we got brakes with one. I think the brakes are automatically off, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. And uh, we need to close the canopy with six. There we go. Beautiful. We can slowly get into the air. Alright, we're good. Press two for gear. Alright, awesome sauce. And there is a landing strip on our left. Let's go ahead and put the landing gear back down. Press five to drop all the bombs. Way! Uh oh, we're going really far down. Oh, those bombs are making me roll to the left. That's not good. Alright, I think we've dropped all of them. I think that's good. Alright, cool. All the bombs are gone. Alright, awesome sauce. Let's go in for a landing over here. Uh, so, drop bombs is done. Fold canopy is done. We need to press the arresting hook, which is four. That should come down, which indeed it has. And brakes is one. Uh oh. I mean, that wasn't really how you're supposed to land this thing, but it landed anyway. And it landed really, really well. It landed really, really, really well. Don't know whether that arresting hook has done anything for me, though. Do you reckon it has? Maybe it has. I don't know. Um, cool, though. Cool plane. Really, really cool plane. Um, yeah. Nice. I think you have actually got, like, all of the shapes right on this thing. And uh, that's pretty impressive. I don't think you did the air brake on the back, though, which is a tiny bit disappointing. But you know what? That's fine. That is fine. Uh, right, okay, can I get out of this thing? It's a pretty, like, unknown plane, so... I'm surprised that you guys even got the folding wings, to be totally honest with you. The bomb bay on this thing is awesome as well. I like the fact that some of you built bomb bays. That's crazy. Alright, we got two more left. One of them is this one, and the other one is also this one. If that makes any sense, which I believe it doesn't make any sense, but that's okay. Uh, basically, this is a, uh, one that I fly by myself. The, the second one is an autopilot one. So, that's what we're gonna do. Canopy close. Uh, it's like a, a camel... A camel one, which is fine. We got a camel one. We got parachute right there. We got starter right there. Let's go ahead and turn the starter on. Beautiful. We got a gyro. Let's go ahead and turn the gyro on. We got brakes. Turn the brakes off. We got throttle. Let's go ahead and put that to full. And uh, we do have an altitude hold, which is crazy. I don't know what the alarm is. We got an alarm going off in this thing. Not sure what that is. Set altitude. Let's go to like 55 and we'll see if it works. All right. Where's our altitude? We're at 250 so far. 200 now. All right, let's see if it gets to the right altitude. And if it does, that's awesome. All right, we're upside down right now. That is not... We're going down. Okay. Uh, for some reason... What? Ah, when you turn the altitude hold in, it turns off the, uh, the vertical... No, the horizontal stabilizer. Interesting. Okay, so I realize now what the alarm is. If I turn that back on, it's this. It's low altitude. Apparently, we're not allowed to be at low altitude, and that's okay. All right, cool. Can we go a little bit faster, please? In fact, actually, can we go forwards at all? That would be great. Here we go. Here we go. All right, in the air we go. Awesome sauce. I kind of feel like this might be the only one that I can land, which is kind of strange. Uh, landing gear. There we go. Beautiful. Landing gear folds up into the wings. That's awesome sauce. That's really good. We do have a landing gear on the back and the front, though, which is a little bit strange. Uh, but that's okay. We do also have parachutes. I want to see how the parachute works on this. So let's fly over this island and we'll try and land it using the parachute. There we go. Go ahead and throttle down all the way. Are we over the island yet? We're pretty close. And then let's go ahead and press parachute. Beautiful. And do this as well. Wait, we got three parachutes on this. 
That's a bit excessive, but okay. And we are nose down. Landed. Beautiful. All right, awesome. Cool. I want to go on to the next one, though. The next one is actually really strange, but I like it. All right, so this is the next one. Yeah, you might think it's the same plane. It is not the same plane. As you guys can see, I sit in a passenger seat in this one, uh, which is already very strange. You sort of pick where you want to go. So let's say we want to go to the creative base. Let's say we want to go there. We go ahead and we do this. Go ahead and plumb it in, and we do this. And then we just sit here and hope for the best. I think that's all we need to do. Um, it'll take off by itself. It should land by itself. And uh, I don't know whether it's going to hit that thing in front of us. Yeah, no, it's taken off. Beautiful. All right, landing gear comes up all by itself as well. That's awesome sauce. And it should fly in a straight line. Hopefully, we don't hit any wind turbines. That would suck. And it should land itself as well. Now, this is a one-time landing procedure because basically the way it works is it pops some parachutes and you end up landing. So that's that's how the landing procedure works. Uh, yeah, there you go. Bam. All right, cool. I could jump out as well if I wanted to. Uh, I mean, this isn't something that you normally want to do, but um, there you go. See, the engine's cut off, and then the parachutes should pop any second now. There we go! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I don't have a parachute, do I? Nope, I don't have a parachute. Uh-oh. But as you guys can see, it lands itself, so that's pretty awesome. And you've got no controls over it, so uh, yeah, very strange, right? Very, very strange. Very strange. Anyway, I kind of feel like that's all of them. We started with bolts one, then we moved on to this 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 one, that one, that one, and that is all of them, I believe. Yeah, so, um, I like your planes. A lot of the planes are really good. This one, I'm going to be honest, okay? You might think it doesn't look very good, but I'm going to say that it does because if you guys have seen the other things that he makes... Uh, he generally just makes boxes, so he has made an effort to make this thing look look right, uh, and I like it. I like the fact that you've tried. So um, yeah, good on you, good on you, man. Uh, the next one. All right, let's go back in order. Um, let's go backwards, and I'll show, I'll tell you guys what I think. Uh, we got the Woods Peoples one. I kind of feel like this one wins purely because I feel like all of the shapes of this thing are right, are, like they're all correct. It also has a bomb bay, which is pretty cool, and yeah, I, I genuinely just I just like it. It flies really nicely as well. Uh, so that's that. Let's move on to the next one, which is this one. This one, I would say, doesn't really look too much like a Buccaneer. It looks a little bit more like a Vixen, but I do like it. I do like it. Um, it's pretty cool. I, I like that little bit on the cockpit right there. The the way you open up the cockpit is really cool. Uh, that is one of the, the nicest features about that plane. Um, and yeah, it does have a bomb bay on this one as well, right? With a big old bomb inside, so that's pretty cool. It also comes with a parachute, which is really nice as well. Let's move on to the next one, which is this one right here. And the guy that wanted me to do this one was Glip Glop. Uh, in case I didn't say his name, which I don't think I did. It has foldy wings, which is awesome. Um, does this one have a bomb bay? I can't remember. Oh, this bomb bay didn't work. I don't think it has a bomb bay is, is the problem. I don't think it's actually got one. Uh, but the, the bomb bay is um, labeled on that seat. So that's a little bit strange. Uh, but there you go. So that's a really cool looking one. It does look nice. I would just say that it's a little bit too long. And that's maybe the only problem with it. I like it, though. Everything else is really cool. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is this one, uh, which is pretty cool. It's very green. There's no camo on it, which is probably something that puts it down a little bit. And maybe the tail could have been a little bit fatter. But other than that, really nice plane. I like it a lot. Uh, good job on it. Good job on it. Really nice job. All right, cool. Let's move on to the next one. What have we got next? It is this one which is, I would say, close second, maybe even first as well. Uh, this one was built by Bolt, and um, camouflage looks awesome. The the roundels look really good. The cockpit, I, I think the cockpit could do with a little bit of work. But um, as it is, it's fine. Um, and also this. I don't know whether I would just put the refueling probe on there. I think I'd probably just take that off next time. I'm not really sure uh, if there is a next time. But there you go. Um, I like it, though. Really cool plane. Landing gear works really well. And, um, yeah, really nicely done. Alrighty, so I'm gonna say that both of these two kind of win. I really like the fact that what they've done, and the colours are so identical, but I, I guess you guys might have got the real the real colours off the website, or, or off the internet. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Uh, but you guys have done a really good job putting these two next to each other. Uh, there are a few features I like about each of them. Uh, I probably, I don't know, actually. I don't know, I feel like the cockpit on this one is nicer in terms of being able to get into the seats. Um, but I do like the red, the red lights in there. That's really cool. 
Um, and also how easy that one is to use, but this one's also quite easy to use. There isn't actually even a throttle in this, so landing this one's probably a little bit easier. Um, as for how the engines merge, I like this one. Um, I can't really have, I don't really have in my head what the real one even looks like in my head uh, right now, as for the engines. But I feel like this one's a little bit nicer in terms of the way they, they sort of like fit on there. Um, but yeah, I like it. Anyway, uh, also the air brake on this one. I like this. I like the air brake. That's really cool. Anyway, I'm going to leave this one here for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully I'll, uh, I'll upload a new plane for you guys to build in the next, the next challenge. Uh, and we'll maybe get a few more entries. And uh, maybe I could just do the top three from that point so we can do a little bit more of a, a nice examination of them. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.